Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? You're welcome back to the Red Magic TV YouTube channel. My name is Olusei Magic. In this session, I'll be showing you guys how to transform your photos using the color calibration tool in Adobe Lightroom. Yes, the color calibration tool. I know you guys are not very familiar with this tool. A lot of you guys are, don't even use it at all. It's very underrated, but it's an amazing tool that can take your photography and your post-production to the next level. This episode is going to serve as the first of many more episodes to come that I call the color series. You know, in the color series, I'll be showing you guys all things on how to improve your color grading, you know, how to enhance your photo, how to master the art of um, getting the right skin tone, you know, how to manipulate colors, how to make your colors richer, and everything in between. And uh, this is all going to be between Lightroom to Photoshop. So in this particular episode, we are going to be focusing majorly on camera calibration. Camera calibration is the last uh, session in your develop panel on Lightroom. So a lot of people don't even go there. <laughs> Most of you guys spend your time on the basic panel, the uh, what's it called, tone curve, color mixer. Some of you don't even go to color mixer. I'm going to share color mixer with you guys on the next episode. And some of you even use like the old model of Lightroom. You don't even have the color mixer panel. And it's a very fantastic panel that can really help your photography. One thing I'll say is this, as a photographer, you have to understand color. I know a lot of us focus so much on using presets. I use presets myself. But no matter how much you use presets, if you don't have a deep understanding of how to use color, how to enhance and manipulate color, in fact, how to just control the outcome of color, you will not really get the best results. All you'll be left with is just trial and error, you know. And the major essence of camera calibration is to give you full control of your colors. Let me give you an explanation of how camera calibration works. In fact, let me tell you why it's even there, why they added it to the develop options in Lightroom. Most of us shoot raw. You know, as a professional, I expect you should be shooting raw photos anyway. You shouldn't be shooting JPEG. And when you take your photos on the camera, you know, there's certain presets you've already set on camera. For example, some of us set our preset to like standard or maybe vivid, you know, or monochrome or whatever thing works for you. But you find out that no matter how, um, how many images you take, you tend to take pictures in different scenarios, you know, different environments, and you cannot be changing the preset every second. You can't say, okay, when I get outside, I'll change to standard. When I get inside, I'll change to vivid. Who has that time? So a lot of times you find yourself that, uh, in a situation where you use a preset for different scenarios, you know, which is not good enough. So the major essence of camera calibration is to bring everything back to life. I'm sure a lot of you would have noticed that most times, especially when you shoot raw photos, this is specifically for raw photos, you know, most times when you take these photos, they look so pretty on your camera, but when you import those photos to your Lightroom, the moment those images load on your Lightroom, they look dull. You tend to not really like the photos as you would have loved them when you were seeing them on camera. This is because Adobe Lightroom will convert your images to raw. You shot the images on RAW, but when the images is displayed on your camera, it shows like a JPEG image. So they look all pretty, all poppy, flash, you know. But on Adobe Lightroom, specific, I don't know much about Capture One, but on, on Adobe Lightroom, you end up with a very dull image. So what camera calibration does for you is to bring your colors back to life globally. The reason I use the word globally is because if you do it on your HSL panel, which most of us use, the EU's saturation and luminance panel, that one deals with individual colors. So if you, are, if you are, for example, if you are trying to reduce your reds on the HSL panel now, if you are trying to reduce your red, it's going to focus solely on reds. If you want to reduce your blue, it's going to focus solely on blue. But when it comes to camera calibration, it deals with it globally. You know, let me give you a deeper understanding of what I'm trying to say. Now, look at this image right now in front of me now. This is a color wheel. You know, it's a color wheel. And, okay, let me, let me take you back a bit so you have a deeper understanding. What are primary colors? You know, what are primary colors? We have three primary colors, which is R, G, B. That's red, green, blue. You know, every colors are inside these three colors. Every color you can think of right now in your mind is inside red, green, and blue. It doesn't pass. If you look at an image, if an image doesn't have R, G, B, that means the image will be black. You know, and if, if the RGB is too transparent, the image will be white because everything is inculcated in RGB. So what camera calibration does is to, you know, what camera calibration does is to give you control over the RGB. So when you are working on your R, for example, which, is, which stands for the red, it affects every other thing in the image. 
You know, I'm going to show you an example in this episode. When you are doing the same for the green, it affects every other area in the image because they all work hand in hand. Colors like purple, like orange, like yellow, like magenta, you know, everything are under these colors. You know, it's from the primary colors that secondary colors are extracted. It is from the secondary colors that tertiary colors are extracted. Let me really show you what I'm trying to say so that you have a deep understanding. All right, so let's head to Lightroom. Um, I'm right here in my Lightroom and I want to show you exactly what I mean so that everything won't sound like jagos to you. So this is, let's use this next image here. This is the three primary colors that we have. The red, the green, and the blue. But one thing I want you to understand is this. Color varies. When it comes to red on a Canon camera, it's not the same as red on a Sony. Trust me. Even red on Nikon is not the same. The tones are different. You know, so you as a creative, the shade of red you might want might be different from the shade of red I want. The shade of blue you want might be different from the shade of blue I, I want. And it might not be achievable on other panels like the HSL panels because those ones you cannot control only primary colors. That's what makes camera calibration unique. On camera calibration, you can focus solely on the primary colors. And just as we have here yeah, on Lightroom, we have the red, the green, and the blue. Like I said, they are the primary colors. Now, let me show you what I'm trying to say. Let me head down to my color calibration down here. It's right down here, the last option on the uh, menu. I click on calibration and I open it. So I'm going to be focusing solely on the three primary colors, like I said, which is the red, the green, and the blue. So if you look at each of the sliders, we have each of the primary colors as the hue. And majority of us already know what hue is. But for those of you that doesn't know, hue means color change. You know, like hue means it's just another word for saying, okay, you want to change the color. You want to change the tone of your color. That's the meaning of hue. You know, and the second option here, which is saturation, means to increase the intensity of the color or to reduce the intensity. So that's what it is. So what camera calibration does is to help you add some hue to your color, which is the primary colors, or saturate it. So it's up to you. So now let me give you an example of what I'm trying to say. You know, the major difference, the significant difference between calibration and every other slider is that it deals with the primary colors. And in turn, it affects all the colors in your image. Here's what I mean. Focus on the red area of this wheel, of this chart. Just the red area. Now, I'm coming down here to red on the camera calibration. I'm going to click on the U. Normally, when I apply my U, the color is meant to change, right? So focus on the red. Now, let me pull it to, this, to the right. You see that it's changing to orange. It's changing, it's changing, it's changing. Let me take it all the way to plus 100. Now, the red has turned to orange. But if you look at the blue and the green, they have changed also. Let me show you before and after. Can you see? Let me just close this up. All right. So let me show you before and after. You see that that the, 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 the shade of the blue is not the same. And I did not even touch the blue slider at all. I didn't touch the green slider at all. But the shade has changed. You can see the before and after here. Even the green, you know. Let me take it to the left to show you what I'm saying. I took the red, only the red. Now the red has changed to, um, to pink. Well, can you see that the blue has turned to purple? Even the shade of green that we have here is not all the way the same. Let me show you using another wheel. This is a much more detailed wheel. Yeah. Now, let me focus on the red. You know, if you look over here, right here, the red is here. On the left side of the red, you can see the orange. Why on the right side, you can see the purple. Now, let me move my red to the right. In fact, the more I move left, right, left, right, you will see that all the colors are changing. And that's how camera calibration works. All the colors are changing. So it affects all the colors. So it's up to you to know the type of tone you want to deal with. So for example, if you're editing an image, you look at it and you see um, um, you're working on a red area of the photo or specifically the green. Most times we do a lot with the green because we shoot outdoor photos. I'm going to show you in this session a real life photo so you understand what I'm trying to say. You know, let me even show you here right here. The green. Let me move the green to the right. You see that the green is changing but it did not just affect the green alone. It also affected the red. Let me show you before and after. Can you see? It affected the red. It affected literally everything. Look at, look at the blue before and the blue after. It has turned to purple. You know, so that's the beauty of color calibration. It affects your own image globally. If you are trying to deal with specific colors only, please stick to HSL panel. But if you want to do global adjustment that will create a different tone to the image, you know, as a, especially if you are trying to create all this cinematic look, Camera calibration is it is perfect for you. In also, if you want to add saturation, let's say for example, I want to add saturation to my blue. Let's go down here to blue. 
Just a quick tip. Adding saturation to blue is one of the best ways to make your skin tone richer. Any image, any scenario, be it outdoor or indoor, you want your skin tone to be more colorful, you want the photos to be more colorful, go straight to your camera calibration, just take your blue slider, go to saturation, and just pull it to your right. You will see how your, the colors will start to pop. I'm going to show you guys right here. But in this color, we let me just show you what I'm trying to say. So let me increase the saturation. Can you see what's happening here? It's, it's even affecting the saturation of the red. It's affecting the saturation of the yellow. Let me reduce it. So you see what I'm trying to say. Can you see what's happening here? Look at the yellow, how dull yellow is, how dull the red is, even though it's just the blue. I try to saturate. That's the power of camera calibration. So now let me show you what I'm trying to say with a real image so you can have a deeper understanding. All right, so let's check out this photo right here. So this will give us a deeper understanding apart from what we have in the colorway, you know. This is an outdoor photo. We have a lot of green scenery. This photo is, is already edited, so it's already graded. But nevertheless, you will still understand what I'm trying to say. We have different colors here, like the colors of their skin, you know, the colors of the environment, which encompasses green and some yellows, you know, because of the sun, you know, and all that. So let me head to my camera calibration. Now, let me give you an example of what I was trying to say. Let's go to the red. You know, red really works a lot with the skin tone. I can see I want to add colors to our skin using the red. So let me go to saturation and add some saturation to the reds and increase it. I'm taking it up, taking it up, taking it up. Let me take it all the way up so it will look awkward. Now, you will see that even the, let me show you before and after, so it's what I'm trying to say. Even the green scenery has, is affected, but it added general pop to the image. As you can see, the image is, not now, is, is now very colorful because this is too much. So for me, I would not go more than maybe plus 44. You know, but if you look at it before and after, the image is already looking richer. You know, we can go to green, for example, and say, okay, maybe the green is too saturated. Let us reduce the saturation. Then I reduce the saturation of my green. You know, look at, see, you see how cool the image looks now. It affects everything, but it gives you the power to use your primary, um, your primary colors to control the overall mood of your photo. You know, this is how to deal with colors as a professional. You know, of course, there are many other tools you can use in Lightroom, like the color mixer, the color grading, HSL, and all that. But most importantly, the color calibration gives you full control. For example, this same green primary, if I am to pull up the saturation forward, forward to the right, you can see how the colors are popping and the colors are coming to life. And it's also affected the skin tone before and after. Can you see before and after? See how beautiful the photos look and how rich the colors are, you know? So it's usually beautiful. Let me take this saturation back down. I can decide to increase, like I said earlier, the tip I was giving you that if you increase the saturation of your blue, it helps your image to look more beautiful and colorful. Let me do that right now. So this is the blue primary down here. Let me take off the saturation. Can you see? It gives a much more natural feel. When I took off the, took off the saturation of the green, it was too red. Everything was looking too rash. The colors was not as appealing and flattering as one might want. But with the blue saturation, it gives a much, much more natural saturation feel. Look at this. I can just add a little bit of the red to it, you know. And if I don't like the tone, but this is looking too bright. It's looking too bright. So I can just go to my basic panel, take down the exposure a tad bit. Aha, this is much better. Okay, beautiful. You see the difference? How colorful the image is. And if I feel like, okay, I want to change the shade of the green, I can just come to my green primary hue, move it to the left to give it more golden feel. Can you see what we have now? See how golden it looks compared to the original photo? See how golden it looks? And you can take it to the right to give it much more tint, to give it more red feel. Look at this. Look at this. This is all, the, the, you will notice that the more I'm moving the sliders around, they all look beautiful. <laughs> they all look stunning. So it's up to you as a creative to choose what works for you. But my goal for this video is to just make you understand the power and the beauty of camera calibration. You know, let us check out another photo. So this is another photograph, you know, of a wedding session my, myself and my team shot recently. So if you look at this photograph, it's beautiful. It's retouched already, so it's a stunning photo, you know, of this couple. She's dark skin, but you might not like this color tone. You might want something different. Maybe you want to enhance the tone globally. All you have to do is to check out the colors. For example, if you start with the red, you take the red to the left. It affects all the reds in the image. Of course, it affects literally every color, like I said. But it gives it a tint feel. If I take it to the left, look at what we have. Let me show you before and after. Can you see where we are? If I take it to the right, it gives it a much, much cinematic feel. 
You know, of course, most of times, a lot of times, you might not overdo these things. So when I say left, right, now doesn't mean you now do plus 40, plus 50. It looks awkward, you know? So when you want to do this thing, you tend not to push it more than plus 10, minus 10, plus 15, you know? And you have a significant difference already. Look at where we are before and after. Can you see, you know, our skin is looking much more brownish than the original photo. You can do the same on the green panel. Let me pull it to the left to give it more golden feel. Can you see that it's looking more golden? You know, and if I want to reduce the golden, I give it more tint. I'll take it to the right to give it more tint feel. You see the power of calibration? And if I want more color, I want the color, the skin tone to be richer, I just go to my blue, add more saturation. Go to my blue, add more saturation. You see? You see that like the skin is looking more richer than the original photo. You know, that's the beauty of camera calibration. It's, it's an amazing tool. I understand that this tool is underrated. A lot of us tend not to use this tool, but I use it a lot for almost all of my photos. Most of my presets, camera calibrations is part of the things that makes it what it is. So I employ you guys to study camera calibration more, practice it, try to apply it in your, in your photos. I'm confident that you can get beautiful results, you know, beautiful photos from your calib camera calibration. And like I said in the early part of this video, this is going to be part of the color series I'll be releasing in coming weeks from now, but this is the first edition. In coming edition, we'll be learning all things about color mixer, the color grading panel, you know, the, even more on this calibration panel, even how to use the tone curve to color your images. This will give you a much, much, you know, deeper understanding on how to transform your images, specifically when it comes to color. I hope you've learned something beautiful in this episode. See you some other time. Cheers.